Hello friends, it's Cindy Brombaugh from CindyLeeBeeDesigns.com, independent stamping up demonstrator. Today I have a gatefold with a twist. Now a gatefold is a card that closes like a gate, so you have an equal amount folding on each side. And so this gatefold is held together. Usually with a gatefold, you'll have some kind of mechanism, either a belly band or a ribbon or something to keep it closed. Well, this one has a sliding mechanism. And so I see the name that everybody's calling it is the slide and lock. And I, there are many different demonstrators doing it. But the first one I saw was about, hmm, Oh, before Christmas time, and I saw a crafter sharing with another crafter a card that had a small little mechanism on it. it. I know it was in Spanish, it was translated, but she figured it out. So that's where I originally saw it, and then I just popped up on some other demo sites I've been watching. Slide and lock, slide and lock gatefold. So you just slide this off, and then you have your gatefold. Now this one's a portrait one and we're gonna make a landscape one. As you can see, I'm using these beautiful ice cream cones from the Ice Cream Corner Designer Series paper. All oh, those beautiful colors. Now, I do not have my bundle yet and that's on page 49 and that comes with the Ice Cream Cone Builder Punch and the Sweet Ice Cream Stamp Set. It also has these cute Ice Cream Corner sprinkles, some Blackberry Bliss striped ribbon. And so it's like the really fun, fun, fun um, suite that you can find on page 48 and 49 of the Stamping Up January through June mini catalog. Now, to see what the actual size here, it does show always in the catalog the actual size. There's very seldom that you don't see the actual size in the catalog. If it does, it'll tell you that. But that's the size, so just to get literally to see what it looks like. My friend Janet Munden sent me this card and this card shows, you know, the um, the, the dimension kind of, of how big it is, the uh, size on a regular A2 size card. So what we're gonna do is we are going to make the same slide and lock gatefold, but we're going to be doing it with our landscape size. So what you're gonna do is on this card, you start out, well, let me show you for this one here. Okay, so we're gonna start out with a half sheet of our card stock and that's four and a quarter by 11. And what you're gonna do to create a gatefold on a landscape card, anytime you make one of these, you are going to just, I find it easiest instead of um, dimension and going the whole way across is I just take that dimension. Now, if you cut this, not, not cut, if you divided this 11 inches, five and a half is the half way mark. So half of five and a half is two and three quarters. So I just go to two and three quarters and line it up on the left side of my, of my cutting scoring groove. And then I'm going to use my light gray scoring tool and go two and three quarters. Now I could do some math and figure out where it would be if you pushed it this way, but it's just is enough easy just to turn it around, put that 11 inch side up against the top again and go to two and three quarters. And two and three quarters. Okay, I think we're having a little shaking going on here today. Okay, so that is how we're gonna make our landscape gatefold because then you just fold over your two sides and you have a meeting in the middle. Okay, now if you were doing it with to do a portrait, you would put in the eight and a half inch by five and a half, and then on the eight and a half inch side, you would score in two and an eighth. So you do put it in there, two and an eighth, turn it, two and an eighth, okay? So that's how, that's because two and an eighth is half of four and a quarter, and two and three quarters, two and three quarters is half of five and a half. Okay, so here we go to make the landscape card. Now this is some simple layering here, but let's just go ahead and look at this. All my colors, products, dimensions are all in the YouTube video. Underneath the YouTube video, you'll see all the measurements there. But there's also a place that says visit my blog. Just press there, it'll take you right over to cindyleebdesigns.com and you can see the um, additional photos and any other little fun things I wanna tell you. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is just do basic layering here. So this is two and three quarters, so the next layer down would be two and a half, and this is four and a quarter, so it'd be four. So this layer here is going to be two and a half by four. 
me you know I should have been smart and there we go and put um, I use a rubber mat under my stamping and it's a little bit soft and it does work a little better on a hard surface so I'm gonna put these pretty stripes right on this two and a half by four which made this two and a quarter by three and three quarters and so we're just gonna put that right on there get an eighth of an inch the whole way around and we'll just do it on this one as well now of course you could have popped out a couple punches on that if you wanted to and this is one of those design I'm gonna just grab my stamp and seal plus no actually I think I'll just get my snail back out here okay here we go and then we're just gonna pop that on this one I love that Blackberry Bliss that jumps out right of the, all those pretty colorful subtles and bright colors there. This is the terracotta tile. It's not Calypso, it's terracotta tile that kind of looks nice with the, the ice cream cone. Okay, so now we're gonna pop these onto our gate folds here. As you can see on the back of here, do you see these little indentations and grooves on here? That's from the cutting plate when you're using your die cutting machine, it gets some etching into it. So just remember that if you ever do a card and you're going to see the inside of your card, you're going to want to put maybe down a piece of uh, additional like copy paper or something to keep that imprint from going in there. So if you've ever noticed that happen, I usually try to keep a one of my acrylic plates without any etching on it so that if I have to, you know, do a, a fancy cut that has um, I want the inside to look pretty, then I make sure I use a, a clean plate so I don't get that etching. So here we go, just simply decorating up our gatefold here. And then your inside is just going to be a simple, um, you know what, I think I'm just going to go ahead and put that in there too. Just put a little bit of adhesive in the corners, enough that it's going to adhere it, but I don't want to slop glue all over there because it does, believe me, I participate in some swaps with other demos and we have been doing research and finding out there are um, little bumps and lumps that show up in the cards. So there's the inside there and now we're just going to create the slide and lock mechanism here. Now normally when um, you may see videos with this you're going to see that they take that focal image and when they take that focal image they just cut they take two pieces of that same one and fold it. But because I wanted to use a scallop and then I wanted to layer these on, I, I knew the scallop would be hard to match up. So what I did on this card, so normally you would just take two more of these and you take and fold it in half, fold it in half and put it on here. But I thought the scallops would be hard to line up. So I went ahead and just put a circle on here. But if you were doing a square, or another shape that didn't have the scallops on it. Maybe the scallops would have worked, I don't know. But that, I found it easiest to do this. But you would just make it cut two of them the same size. But right here, this is a little extra step I put in here. So I'm just putting this circle. Now I know exactly where my slide and lock mechanism. Like I said, if this was a square, you would be make you would be not putting that piece on there, but I went ahead and put this on because the next step in making the slide and lock mechanism is taking two of these circles and just folding them in half. And we're just going to get them in half and then take our bone folder and just make a nice crease and then do another one. And I'm just folding it in half. Doesn't have to be fancy because nobody's gonna see this. So if it gets like, you know, kind of crinkly at the score mark. Okay, so there we go. We have two of these and you put these two halves together, you get a hole, right? Now I could have just, like I said, I could have skipped. Maybe we will skip this step. Well, I'm gonna leave it on there. You could have skipped this step and then just did this. Just put these on here and made your circle. But that just gave me you know, you can choose to put this on or you can skip it. But I did put it on there just so that I could see exactly where my circle was going to be. And it just give it, gave it a little more stability too. Okay, so I am gonna bring out my Stampin' Seal Plus 
to put this on because you really want a good, um, strong product to adhere these circles here. So we're gonna put one there, okay. And once again, I just put that extra circle there as kind of like a template for me to see, but you do not have to put that initial circle on there. So now we're gonna put another one on top and you can see this is the mechanism that's gonna slide down on your card here. So now I'm just going to put some Stampin' Seal Plus. Get that little piece there. This stuff comes out really nice really easy okay so then we're just going to put this circle right on top of those two half circles so there is our sliding mechanism that's going to go on our card so as i said you do not have to put that initial circle down but i just found it easier for me just to know exactly where i'm going so there is how easy it is to do super easy okay so now what we're gonna do is build up this other side now since I used the Bermuda Bay here with the bumblebee card base those are the colors that are in the designer series paper I just went ahead and put a Bermuda Bay circle on the front and believe me I cut every color of this size circle and those these you know the circle dimensions will be on the on my website and underneath the YouTube video but I've tried every color to see which one looked best I had like the scallop in three different colors you know I sat there and I really wanted to get the old olive in there because the old olives but it just was kind of not working for me but I played with them all and I came up with just going ahead and using the bumblebee to pull off of the card base and then I needed to have a piece of white here to stamp my sentiment. And that's the sentiment that comes from, oh, here we go. Um, since I didn't have my ice cream bundle yet, I just looked through my sentiments. I knew any sentiment that said something about sweet, um, that was sweet of you, a sweet treat, the little pampered pets has, I hope your day's a real treat, ice cream is a treat. I found this one in the Friend Like You bundle, and um, it had Enjoy the Little Things, and it was perfect to fit right up in there and show off these cute little ice cream cones that I fussy cut out of the designer paper. So I'm gonna just use some Blackberry Bliss, and I'm just going to stamp that onto a basic white circle. How easy are those cute little spots to use? Okay. So I'm just gonna pop that up into the top of the circle. There we go. And it will, <clears throat> excuse me, it will lighten up. So now when I go to put this circle on here, I want to, I would, you know what, I would, yes. You want to line up the the, if you're using this stamp set, I need to line up the the so it's straight because the other, uh, the font is, oh, but I gotta make sure, oh, let's, I know what I did. I put it onto the card before. So I'll show you how we do this. We just have our little sliding mechanism here and you just pop the two sides of the gatefold into your sliding mechanism and that keeps it closed, okay? And the reason I put this on now is because I wanna know exactly what it, how it is straight on there. So we're gonna put, enjoy the little things, and I wanna have the the looking straight across horizontally. I think I have it. There we go. And then we simply just take and put dimensionals on the back of our designer series paper that we fussy cut and just pop those ice cream cones on there. Now this one is going to just be flat. There we go. How cute is that? Now we wanna just jazz this up a little bit and we're going to take our ice cream corner sprinkles. Look at that, we've got Purple Posy and Bermuda Bay and some, this actually is supposed to be the terracotta tile and some bumblebee. So what I'm gonna do is get a little bit of glue on, there we go, creating my little, just put some tiny, 
dabs of glue. One, two. I think I did six of them on here too. Just get a little bit here. One. Don't want to get too much glue on there. And you almost kind of want to let the glue get a little bit tacky before you put um, your sprinkles on. And I'm going to use my little tweezers here. And I know I can do the bumblebee because we have bumblebee in there. So I'm going to put a bumblebee on there and another bumblebee. These are, oh gosh, you talk about playing operation as a kid. This, <laughs> this is playing operation. Okay, let me just grab some out here. Oh, it's a chances of me getting a bumblebee. There we go. So I'm going to put a bumblebee. I think I put the bumblebee, right? And these are a little tricky to get on there. You can definitely <laughs> use these cuties on. And then I'm going to put a one of the blue colored ones. And Let's put on a, should we put on a purple posy? Yeah. Purple posy and another, let's put on another, let me get it out of there. There we go. Actually, I'm almost thinking so what should we do for there? Should I, I just don't know if I want to put one of these on the, the one of these on or not. What do you think? It does pull that out. Hmm. I think my eye is going towards putting on another of the blue. So let's find it. These are adorable. These are great for shaker cards. Uh, there we go. There we go. We've got some cute little ice cream corner sprinkles. And like I said, people use these a lot in the shaker cards, but oh my gosh, look how adorable they are on the ice cream cone and decorating up this card here. Ah, I especially liked it how I just pulled the purple posy and the, it looks more almost like a pool party or a um, coastal cabana, but it actually is Bermuda Bay in there. But pool party is in the color. But look how cute that is. And you've just got the sliding mechanism here that keeps it closed. And then on the inside of both of the cards, you can just stamp and everything else will work out. So enjoy the little things. Go have an ice cream cone. You know, just stop in the busyness and the craziness of this world and just enjoy the little things. Maybe it's a little Hershey kiss. Maybe it's sitting down with a hot cup of coffee or tea or a glass of wine in the evening. So just enjoy the little things and then everything else will work out. So if you've had any questions, you can contact me at cindyleeb at gmail.com. You can also call me or text me at 724-323-2296. If you make a gatefold card with a sliding mechanism, slide and lock mechanism, feel free to text me and share it with me. That is a bright spot in my day when I get one of those um, texts with a photo of a card somebody's made. So this is the Ice Cream Corner Bundle. And you can find it on pages 48 and 49. And it's a really cute bundle punch, but I just used the designer series paper on this card and the ice cream corner sprinkles and made a fantastic cute little card there. So thanks for buzzing by friends.